Being an astrologer is ultimately just being a translator. That's kind of a simplification because there is like a more energetic, intuitive quality to it, I believe as well. But think about if you wanted to translate a language but you don't know it yet. You can start by using Duolingo, using the internet, and free resources to give you a good handle on it. But if you want to get to the point where you can truly translate text or information from one language to another in a way that not only makes sense but maybe is eloquent and beautiful, then there's some level of study or school that needs to go into that. If you truly want to become an astrologer, my recommendation would be absolutely start with some free or cheap resources that you find online, videos, YouTube, podcast, my account if you like it, even books. But in order to really have a full understanding, I, I do think that you need to take some level of a training course, a school, study under a teacher. Like with any profession, there is a time and money investment that goes into becoming a master, so to speak, of your craft. You do the Jupiter, you do the learning expansion part, but you also put in resources. I've personally devoted thousands of hours and dollars to my astrological studies. Many teachers offer certification programs, but some of them don't, especially some of the teachers who have a lot of students. And so in this case, I'd recommend getting a mentor and having some Saturn person, being an apprentice of some sort and having a astrologer watch you read charts and correct you. Have your chart read several times by several different astrologers. Start with your own chart. Ask them specific questions. Hey, I noticed that the ruler of my chart is in this house, aspecting this placement. Does it mean this? That's what I think. And they can tell you yes or no. And you can hone your craft through your own chart in that way. And then once you've done the Jupiter, the learning, the expansion, the growing excitement part, and Saturn, the apprentice part, putting in a lot of time and a lot of effort, just like a professional translator from one language to another would charge to translate a document for somebody, then that becomes your profession if you so choose. Timing wise, I personally see becoming an astrologer taking the same amount of time and effort as it would to get a degree in something in college. I hope this is helpful for all those who have been asking recently and I wish you all the best on your astrological journey. Much love.